Hello everyone. So this is the particular problem that we are going to address today. If I go to my scale tray, here you see I have these lines that show dependencies between the scales. And if I click on this, we can see the detail panel relevant to the selected scale. And here you see these lines, these dependency lines are drawn on top of this panel. That is what I want to avoid in this episode. This is the problem we are going to address today. So to solve this, this is what I'm trying to do. If I open my blueprint UI skill tree, skill tree widget. So here for the skill detail panels panel, even if I change the set order to something higher, I still gonna see the lines on top of it. Just let me show you. It's not going to solve the problem. I'm just, I just want to show you it's not working. See? So, what I, uh, but there is no way to define the draw order for the lines because the lines are drawn using this on by overriding this on paint function, which, uh, so this, so here. This is the function draw line, and there is no way for me to set the draw order here. So, right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a separate widget that only draws the lines, and then try to set the draw order of that widget. And hopefully, there that draw order might affect these lines. All right. So for that, let's use interface, widget, blow print, user widget, WDG, line, yeah. say lines, no, here, line, okay, and open it. Thing is there it's empty and I'll copy this on paint function here no I can't simply copy it I have to override it yeah. and then here I can copy everything Here we have this get position macro. So before copying this, let me make sure that I have this get position macro. It's copied here. Don't have any errors. Okay, now we can try this. So by the way, it may not be relevant these steps for whatever you are trying to do. Still, it didn't detect the macros, but I had to do this to make it work with my um, system that I have. And row, position, position, do I have any offsets here? Yeah. Point one point five zero position A position B okay. oh, we don't really need this one. And then Go to skill tree and I disable this function, this on paint function. And here I need this. 
new widget skip three lines a widget okay. there the hit the hit to the whole can to the whole canvas like this Now, where do I update it? Initialize spray, I add it, and on paint, I use it. So, here, when I add it, every time I add it, uh, or oh, I update it, so that means that complete. Skill tree. So here I'll update those values for the skill tree lines like this. Set start set line start buttons. Set line end button. This widget. What? This is the very first time I'm trying this. So it is. Yeah, it's working. Nice. So actually, I didn't test this before, but I got this idea from a forum. So yeah, as you can see, the method is working. Nice. By the way, if you want to make the work, so this is down here, and I already set this set order to one. But if I make this two, the line should appear above. Yeah, see, no lines are appearing above, but yeah, we don't need that it to default order okay so that's all i want to address in this episode and next time let's see how to connect this uh, skill buttons because i haven't connected this cancel and uh, i haven't done anything here in this activate button or cancel one so let's see what to do about them in the next episode so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and uh, here is the full playlist you can watch them all from the beginning and implement everything you see here uh, and yeah let me know if you have any questions in the comments and see you in the next episode goodbye